How does a military general become a king? This is the story of Pushyamitra Shunga. Born into the prestigious Brahmin class, Pushyamitra Shunga began his journey in the Mauryan Empire, not as a royal, but as a military general. Showing a knack for strategy and leadership, he quickly climbed the ranks. However, it was in the wake of the Mauryan Empire's decline that Pushyamitra truly seized his moment. The last Mauryan emperor, Brihadratha, was losing his grip on the empire. Sensing an opportunity, Pushyamitra orchestrated a brazen coup during a military parade, overthrowing and assassinating Brihadratha right in front of his army. With the emperor gone, Pushyamitra declared himself the new ruler. This wasn't just a change of leadership, it marked the end of the Mauryan Empire and the beginning of a new era. So, the military general became the king, marking the beginning of the Sunga dynasty. Pushyamitra Shunga, a Brahmin by birth, now a king, what did his reign look like? A man of great strategic prowess, Pushyamitra Shunga, held the scepter of his reign with a firm hand. His reign was marked by the successful defense against the invasions of the Indo-Greek king, Demetrius. It was not an easy feat, considering the might and expanse of the Greek Empire at the time, but the Brahmin king, with his astute military strategies, turned the tides in his favor, thus ensuring the sovereignty of his kingdom. But his reign was not just about military victories. Pushyamitra Shunga was also a fervent promoter of Brahmanism. He believed in the power and sanctity of the Brahminical rituals and the Vedic texts, and his reign saw a resurgence of these practices. His court was a hub of scholarly discussions and religious debates, with the king himself often leading the discourse. However, his promotion of Brahmanism has also led to allegations of his persecution of Buddhists. Some ancient texts suggest that Pushyamitra Shunga destroyed the Sanchi Stupa, a significant Buddhist monument. It is also said that he offered a bounty for the head of every Buddhist monk. Though these allegations remain a topic of debate among historians, it is undeniable that his reign saw a decline in the influence of Buddhism. But one cannot talk about Pushyamitra Shunga's reign without mentioning his contributions to art and culture. He was a patron of the arts, and his reign saw a flourish of cultural activities. The Shunga period is known for its sculptures, paintings, and architectural wonders, many of which still stand as a testament to the king's love for art and culture. With a reign marked by military victories and cultural advancements, Pushamitra Shunga left an indelible mark on Indian history. His story is not just about a Brahmin who became a king, but also about a king who, through his actions and decisions, shaped the course of his kingdom and, by extension, the history of India. Every reign has an end, and so did Pushyamitra's. Who continued his legacy? The death of Pushyamitra Shunga marked the conclusion of a remarkable period in Indian history. After a reign that lasted more than two decades, he passed the crown to his son, Agnimitra. Much like his father, Agnimitra was a valiant warrior and a tactful ruler. His reign was marked by stability and prosperity, reflecting the strong foundation laid by Pushyamitra. Yet, the story of the Sunga dynasty didn't end there. This era saw a succession of ten kings who, in their own ways, contributed to the dynasty's legacy. Each ruler, from Vasudeshta to Devabhuti, added a chapter to the dynasty's saga, upholding the Brahmanical traditions and defending their kingdom with vigor. The Sunga dynasty, founded by Pushyamitra, was a beacon of cultural and religious revival. Though Pushyamitra Shunga's reign ended, his legacy lived on in the rulers that followed. Pushyamitra Shunga, a military general turned king, a staunch Brahmin, a successful ruler, but who was he really? Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Pushyamitra rose to power by overthrowing the last Mauryan ruler, marking the end of an era and the beginning of the Shunga dynasty. He wasn't just a king, but a skilled military strategist, successfully defending his kingdom against the mighty Greeks. A devout Brahmin, he was deeply invested in promoting Brahmanism, which led to a decline in Buddhism during his reign. Despite this, he made significant contributions to art and culture, leaving behind a rich legacy that continues to be appreciated even today. His reign may have been fraught with controversy, but it was undeniably impactful, shaping the course of Indian history in profound ways. Pushyamitra Shunga, a complex figure, whose story continues to captivate us even today,
हैं हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और साथ ही बेल आइकन दबाएं जिससे समय पर नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलती रहे आपका एक लाइक हमें प्रोत्साहित करता है जिससे कि हम नई वीडियो बनाए थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट